Hey guys, Johnny Farrow here, and today I'm going to do a video for you of the different things that I bring with me to my gigs. These are the little items that you don't want to leave home without. Things that as little as they are could make or break getting your gig done, playing your gig, right? So, and this video is also going to double as a video for Christmas gift ideas, stocking stuffer, or gift ideas for the guitarist in your life. And I assure you these things, you know, may seem small and insignificant, but I don't know of any guitarist that wouldn't enjoy, wouldn't like getting something like this for Christmas, getting extra of some of these things. Uh, these are just indispensable little things that are really easy to forget. So I'm going to go down this checklist of the stuff I keep for every gig that I do. All right, so first things first, you need to have a bag to put all this stuff in. Just a regular size duffel bag, nothing crazy, nothing special. And then first things first... Cables. Now, I always bring extra cables. One of those little secrets of mine to make sure I never get screwed on a gig. You know, I'll bring like, usually I'll need two longer guitar cables, so I'll bring my two main cables, the one that goes to my guitar, and then the one that goes from my, my tuner or my effects out to the amplifier, right? So those go in the bag. Then I usually will have a separate cable for my acoustic guitar that goes to a different, that goes right to the PA. So I bring that with me as well. And then I bring a backup cable for each rig, just in case, because you never know, a cable can go out. I mean, there's, it's very, it's not terribly common, but it can happen, I've had it happen, and it sucks when you lose, when your cable just gets funky. Um, and then I also bring, depending on if I have effects pedals or not, or how many I have, these are patch cables, these are like, Six inch cables, you can get them for, I don't know, five, ten bucks. You can get, get decent ones for, you know, if you got a guitarist that uses effects at all, these can come in really, really handy. Again, these cables can go sometimes, real easy for them to go, and you don't want to be caught with your pants down, so to speak. Now, if you're also singing at your gig, which I do backing vocals, I always will bring an extra mic cable. And then I also will bring a backup microphone because sometimes the venue, occasionally they just won't have a mic. It's odd, it's very rare, but it happens. Or their mic goes out, or they're short on mics or something. I always have my own with me. I'll also bring a stand for my own microphone in case I need it. Now, of course, along with cables to run your guitar to your amp, you also need power. So I always bring an extension cord and a power strip. Every club is different, and it's sometimes there are clubs where the power is not close by. Sometimes it's kind of close by, but there's only one outlet, so you need the power strip. Sometimes you need both. Sometimes they don't have a power, any kind of cables of their own. I always come with my own rig just in case I need it, okay? And then we got effects. If there are any effects that you use, like this is my wah-wah pedal I'll use on some gigs, you bring any effects that you need with you in your bag as well. Additionally, tuners. And now I bring a couple different tuners to my gigs. This is a TC Electronic um, floor tuner. It's a little pedal. I use this for my electric guitar rig. And then for my acoustic guitar, because it goes into a different source, not through that tuner, I also bring a headstock tuner. Some guys just use headstock tuners. That's fine. You know, it, whatever works. But always have at least one tuner with you. The headstock tuner ones are nice because they're easy to clip and, and move around. You know, these are great. They tend to, um, I just like, this is a very accurate, accurate tuner and it's really easy to unplug one electric, plug the other one in and just tune up really quick. So those go in the bag. And now, speaking of power from before, you need power supplies to run your tuner pedal if you use one, your effects pedals. This is the one that I like. It's the True Tone One Spot. Really great. It's got a really long cable on it which comes in very handy because, you know, let's say you forget your power, uh, your extension cord at home and the gig, they have power, but it's like a little ways away. I think this is like a 10 foot power cable, which is really, that's a lot of length. Like that's plenty for most gigs you would have. So you'll always be able to get power to your, to your effects pedals and, and such. Okay. So they'll go, those go in the bag. Um, and at least one for each, each effect or, or a thing that needs a power supply and then an extra if you got one. Now, what if you break a string? For a shorter gig, maybe not a big deal. I always bring a backup guitar or I have enough guitars that I have a backup. You know, but what if you're playing three sets and your main guitar, you break a string on it? I always have at least one set each 
of my electric strings and my acoustic strings with me. And I bring my basic tools for uh, changing strings. It's got my string winder here. These are like usually a buck, if that, at a guitar store. Simple pair of needle nose pliers that have a wire clipper in them so you can um, clip the ends of the strings and then bend them down. And then a little screwdriver. This is one I got. It's like, this might even be from the dollar store. It was like probably a buck. And this comes out and it's got a Phillips and a flathead. You can switch it out. And this is for if you need to mess with the intonation at all, if you notice your intonation went out, um, or if you just need to tighten the, the um, tuning keys on your, on your guitar, you can use that for that as well. Okay, good. So now we got that. Next thing we need is guitar picks. Unless you're a guy that plays just with your fingers, and if you do, I have a lot of respect for you. That's not easy to do relative to using a pick. Um, but whatever your favorite gauge pick is, I like to bring a bunch of them. And then I also have, just because I'm pretty intense when I play. Sometimes I drop picks. Actually, the last gig I did, I actually dropped my pick. So I got one of these guys. I think they're made by Dunlop, who I also I use Dunlop picks. And what it is, it clips, this clips onto your mic stand here, right? And then you just pop some picks in it. And you just kind of have it on your mic stand. These are so cool and so fun. They're like, I think it's five or six bucks that you can get them for at like Guitar Center or whatever. It's a simple thing. It's the piece of rubber that clips onto your, on your mic stand and then holds these picks. But if you drop a pick, you're going to want that there. And it does come in very, very handy. Um, and I have this on every, every show. I always have that with my favorite gauge of picks. Um, now, batteries. There's a couple reasons that batteries might be important. And these are 9 volts. I really only need 9 volts, um, and I use those in my acoustic guitar. If the pickup on my acoustic goes out, usually it's because the battery's dead. So I just can pop one of these in. Now, also where the batteries come in handy is that if you have an effects pedal and something happens with your power supply and it gets all messed up or something, or, you know, somehow the jack for your power supply going into the pedal gets messed up. Most pedals will take a 9-volt battery as well or some type of battery. So it's good to have extra batteries for any of your effects pedals. Also, if you use a wireless unit, either a wireless pack for your guitar, a wireless microphone, oftentimes let's take double or triple A batteries for the packs. Good to have those in there if you use it. I do not use a wireless currently, but it's on my, my Christmas list, a wireless guitar unit. Just remember that, Santa. Um, yeah, so there's that. Now, there is also, ah, it's over here. Yoink, yoink. There, just like that, I'm back. Capo. This, as any guitar player knows, incredibly useful. It's a little thing, but great for if you want to change the key of a song. Um, and there are some songs that I just like the, the a specific voicing of a chord, so I use this uh, to, to get me where I want to go on my neck. These, this is a G7th um, Performance 3 capo. I swear by this capo, and I swear by this company. I highly recommend them. These guys, I want to say, are like 40 or 50 bucks, I think. Um, so that's probably more of a gift gift than a stocking stuffer, unless you're, you know, one of those guys that likes to do really high-end stocking stuffer gifts, and this is great for your guitar player buddy. Um, so that goes in the bag. I always have, I usually have a couple of them. I have that, and then I have my uh, G7 Performance 2 as a backup capo if I need it, right? And then it is also important to promote yourself, so I always have my business card, dun-dun-dun, with me. This is Johnny Farrell, the businessman. See, it's got... Pretty simple, but it's got my basic info on it, picture of me on the front, and also on the back I got a QR code that people can scan. It'll take them to a video of one of my, my songs. So I do recommend always keeping your business card with you. And then finally, because there is never a guarantee that your venue is going to take care of you on this, water. Water is so important, especially if you're singing, but it's really important that you stay hydrated when you are performing, and if you're, again, an intense player like me, I get really energetic into it. I sweat a lot. It's really important to keep your water good, especially for those longer gigs. It, it's really easy. You start getting fatigued or your voice starts going out. A lot of times you just need some more water. Um, and the list is endless as to different things you could have in your gig bag. I mean, you could have slides. If you play slide guitar, you want to have a slide or two in there, maybe a bone slide and a glass slide. Um, you know, if you're singing, there's throat sprays and throat lozenges that you could have in there uh, for your voice if your voice starts to dry out. There's... Um, you know, if you if you bring a camera and a, tri and a little tripod to video yourself, 
also something you could keep in, in the gig bag, in the in the the supply bag. You know, you may want to bring a change of clothes, bring a shirt. You sweat off, sweat on stage, and you plan on hanging out after the set. Bring a, a shirt to change into, whatever. So anyway, sky's the limit. So that's it, guys. That's what I have in my gig bag at all times. I always have that ready to go so that I can just grab it, take it to whatever you guys have going on. I don't have to think about it. It's just always there. Let me know in the comments below what you put in your gig bag. I want to know if I missed anything. I might have just not even thought of something that you're doing, and that's a great idea. So I would love to know that. So let me know. And until next video, I'm Johnny Farrow. I'll see you next time. Mwah. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell icon to make sure you're notified whenever I put new content up. There's also an icon in the lower right hand corner of my banner picture that you can click on in order to subscribe. And again, don't forget to hit that bell icon to make sure you know whenever I put up new content for y'all to check out.